started in conflict analysis and resolution and global affairs. And then later, I switched into economics and anthropology. And then later, I switched into computer science and math. And so now I'm a PhD student in computer science and engineering. I entered the University of Michigan um, in the theory group. And now, currently, I actually work in the Embedded Systems Laboratory, um, where I work on sensor networks uh, and energy efficient uh, smart buildings. So that's my background. I just want to say, so if you're coming from like you haven't been programming since you were a kid, and maybe you started programming in undergrad, maybe a little later, you have other sort of backgrounds and interests in a broad range of uh, things that you might like to pursue. I can say that grad school is super fun, super awesome, and can definitely be for you. So I work in an embedded systems laboratory where most of the people in that lab actually work on um, hardware. They make boards. Um, I like to think of it as for smart buildings, they make the body, they make the sensors. And I work on the brain, the artificial intelligence and the sensor fusion and synthesis that's required to actually make intelligent decisions based on the information that you're getting. Um, the biggest thing that I like about grad school is the ability to collaborate. So I work in an intensely collaborative environment where I work with people in hardware. I also work with people in theory. I work with people in AI. Um, and obviously, I also work on software systems. And I make real things. And at any point in the day, I could be working on any part of the stack. And I could be working with brilliant people um, who also work in those fields. Uh, I'm also in the middle of traveling right now. This is a pit stop between um, an event that I just came from in Berkeley and an event that I'm traveling to, two big conferences next week in Memphis, where again, I get to go and hang out with some of the most brilliant people and talk about very cool ideas and get to see what is coming in the future. I get these glimpses of what the future is going to look like in 10, 15, 50 years, and I also get to help make that happen. And that's why I think grad school is so cool. Um, there's one piece of advice that I'd like to give you that hasn't come up yet, it's more general, and that is, uh, especially for those of you who are early in your grad school career, find a support group. Start acting like a grad student right now, and then start integrating yourself in with a bunch of grad students and faculty members. Um, because this event is really great, there's a lot of great advice um, that you're hearing, but it's also a bit of a fire hose, and it's only one day. You're going to need people to iterate with. You're going to be writing essays, and you need to share them with their, your essays with them to get feedback. Um, you're also going to need to have people check up on you, make sure that you're where you need to be in your timeline. Because there's a lot of things that you just don't know, and you're not going to know unless you talk with grad students who have been through it, or faculty members who have been through it, to give you that advice. So that's, if there's one thing that you come away with, it's to start getting involved right now with some faculty members and grad students in your departments so that they can basically uh, take care of you, make sure that you get through the process doing the right things and avoiding the wrong things. 